In the previous lectures, I talked about the theory behind cracking WEP encryption key and the used methods. So in this lecture, I'm going to show you a basic demonstration of cracking WEP key by capturing two packets have the same IV. And as I said before, WEP encryption has a unique key stream and it uses only 24-bit or 64-bit key and sometimes it uses 128-bit key. And the difference between 24-bit, 64-bit and 128-bit key is only the length of the password. So 64-bit password is longer than 24-bit password or 128-bit password is longer than 64-bit password. And the weakness in WEP encryption is that the number of the IVs are too short. So in a business network, there will be a huge number of data packets sent to the air. Now what I'm going to do in this lecture is I'm going to sniff my target network which has 64-bit password key. Then I will run aircrack-ng tool to do a statistical attack and determine the key stream. And this method could take from 5 to 15 minutes to crack the key. And this is only if the traffic was busy and this also depends of the password length. Now let's take an example of cracking WEP Wi-Fi encryption key. This is actually very easy and I guarantee you 100% that you will be able to crack it. Because as I said before, we just have to capture two packets have the same IV. Now let's start, start the attack. First, I'm going to type iwconfig to see my Wi-Fi cards. You can see that I have WLAN 1 is running on monitor mode. That means that I'm going to use this Wi-Fi card. Then I'm going to check the Wi-Fi access point around me by typing aerodome-ng followed by the Wi-Fi card name, which is WLAN 1. And then I'm going to hit enter, then I'm, going to, then I'm going to search for my target, which is dist AP. Let me say control C. Here's my target. It's called dist AP. You can see that the encryption is WEP and the channel is 11 and here's its MAC address. Now we're going to, we are going to specify the target, which is dist AP. So I'm just going to type aerodome-ng, then WLAN1, which is my Wi-Fi card name, then BSSID which is the MAC address of the target access point. Here is it. Then hyphen C 11, which is the channel. And then I'm going to add one more option, which is hyphen hyphen write to write all the packets into a file that a crack dash ng will be able to read it and crack the key. So I'm going to call the file demo and then I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, here is my target. We have one client is connected and you can see that the data packets are increasing rapidly. So this is actually very useful when you see that the data packets, the data packets are increasing rapidly. That's mean that the chance of cracking the key is high. Then I'm going to open a new terminal and then I'm going to type aircrack-ng, which is the name of the tool that will crack the key followed by, or let me show you one thing. When I type ls, you will see that four files has been generated and all of them are called demo. Uh, we just want this one, which is which which is the one that ends with uh, cap. We don't want the scv, the kismet, uh, this one. So we just want to read this file in order to crack the key. So I'm going to type a crack dash ng, then demo cap. And I'm going to press enter and then aircrack-ng will try to determine the key. So far, it wasn't able to crack the key. And you can see here that 117,000 key, or uh, it's 1 million, or it's, it's, it's gonna be about 2 million keys has been tested to crack the key. And as I said before, there is only 60 million possibilities to crack the key. So let's see. Let me maximize the window and wait a little bit. So as you can see here, we have got the key after 51 seconds. So it's less than one minute. And as you can see, here is the key. When we copy it, let's uh, copy it. For example, I want to remove all the colons from here. And here is the actual key. So is it, uh, it's this key. We can just copy it and paste it. So here I've copied it. I'm going to try to connect to it. Let me say control C. And I'm going to try to connect to it from here. But I think it's going to connect automatically because I have already connected to it. So let me go to the network manager 
and forget it. So right now I have forgot the network and I'm going to try to connect to the network. It's test AP. I'm going to say connect and I'm going to paste the key. Let me check. That's it. And I'm going to say next. And now it's authenticating. So let's wait a little bit and we will connect to it. So as you can see, we have successfully connected to the network and we have no issues right now. And one more thing I would like to explain, which is our target was busy and the number of the data packets is increasing rapidly because uh, the client that is connected to it is watching a 4K YouTube video. That's why the number of the data packet is increasing rapidly. But if the network was idle and there was no clients connected to it, so that's going to be an issue. And I will, uh, will show you in the next lecture how we can fake authenticate a new client with a target access point. So even if the target access point doesn't, doesn't have any client connected to it, we'll be able to authenticate our Wi-Fi card with it so that we can use uh, the ARP attack or the chop chop attack to increase the, the, the number of the data packets so that we can crack the key using a crack-ng.